Tonight, family members from both sides of the Robert Robertson case are weighing in. Robertson was convicted of murdering his two-year-old daughter, Nikki, more than 20 years ago. He was sentenced to death, but a bipartisan group of lawmakers successfully delayed his execution 11 days ago. At issue is whether the conviction was based on shaken baby syndrome, which has since proven unreliable. Nikki's brother, aunt and grandfather spoke out for the first time today. They said the medical examiner's report found little Nikki died from blunt force head injuries, not from being shaken. In a statement, they said, quote, let us be clear. We do not believe Mr. Robertson should be put to death simply because he is a bad man. We believe his death sentence should be carried out based on the facts of this case. In response, Robertson's brother said Nikki was sick long before she died, writing, quote, I know he did not harm his child in any way. I hope the truth can come out one day before it is too late. It's still not clear what happens next in this case.